Leila Aliyeva, a prime example of the ruling family of Azerbaijan's luxury. A poet, artist, fashion designer, decorator, businesswoman, yoga instructor, proprietor, the list goes on and on. Leila Aliyeva was born in Moscow on July 3, 1985. She was accepted into the European Business School in Baku in 2000. Afterwards, she received her master's from Moscow State University in International Relations. She has been the head of the Haydar Aliyev Foundation's Russia representative office since 2007 and vice president of the foundation since 2011. In 2007, Aliyeva founded Baku Magazine in Moscow. The mother of two sons and one daughter, Leila Aliyeva has appeared in a promotion video about Azerbaijan and featured in a music video together with her ex-husband, businessman and singer Emin Agalarov. Ms. Aliyeva, who initiated the Justice for Kajali campaign, caused controversy by taking a selfie as her father delivered a speech about Kajali at the UN. Demanding withdrawal of Armenian troops from the territory of Azerbaijan. Leila Aliyeva founded the Non-Governmental Alliance IDEA in 2011. The goal of the organization is to protect the environment and stray animals. The situation in Azerbaijan, however, is vastly different. Woods are deplenished and stray animals are killed every single day. Ms. Aliyeva has repeatedly received medals and decorations from the Russian government. She has been awarded medals for services to Astrakhan region and for services to Volgograd region, as well as the third great order of Saint Princess Olga, equal to the apostles. In 2015, Russian President Vladimir Putin personally presented Leila Aliyeva with the Pushkin Medal, which is usually awarded to citizens for achievements in the arts and culture, education, humanities, and literature. Leila Aliyeva owns luxurious properties in cities like London, Moscow, Dubai, and Karlovy Vary, Czech Republic. In 2006, at age 21, Leila became the owner of a luxurious apartment near Hyde Park, one of London's most expensive neighborhoods. In Dubai, the Aliyevs purchased properties worth dozens of millions back in 2008. It seemed that the children of the head of state were competing against each other for the largest number of properties on this expensive Palm Island. The cost of just one of the nine properties registered in the name of Aliyev's children was 330 times their annual salary. Leila Aliyeva also owns a villa in the village of Mayendorf Gardens near Moscow, where Russian billionaires live. Investigative journalists have taken an interest into how Leila has amassed this much wealth at such a young age. At an event held in New York City, a CNBC reporter asked Leila Aliyeva about the origin of her wealth and her business interests. Her response is the following. I think the main thing is to have goals. If you have goals, then it's easier to achieve them, of course. It's hard not to escape the contrast. Digging further, the journalist notes the vast difference between the luxurious event they are attending and the situation for many Azerbaijanis and inquires as to the origin of her family's wealth. Well, I do some business myself and also my husband is in retail. Leila and Arzu Aliyeva have woven an art and style web between cities like London, Moscow, New York, Paris, Milan, and Baku. They are known as some of the biggest customers of Balmain, Alexandra McQueen, Hervé Leger, and Dolce & Gabbana and are also collectors of all sorts of luxury items, including modern art from Hermes Birken. Arzu Aliyev shows her strength in finance. She controls the telecommunications company Azarsal and transport company Silk Way. Unlike Arzu, Leila has focused on art, fashion, and entertainment. The unofficial leader of an organization called Yarat, which is headed by her cousin Aida Mahmudova, Leila Aliyev uses Yarat to organize expensive arts exhibits and concerts in different countries, gather hundreds of people for yoga downtown, and exercise control over expensive nightclubs in Baku. Yarat also has a role to play in the country's first family, taking art figures under its wings. Leila plays a large role in most fashion events in the country. In an interview with Style.com, she made very ambitious statements that Azerbaijan would become a center for fashion. Quote, We have made a leap in the field of art, fashion, and architecture. Even the renowned fashion designer Tom Ford decided to choose Azerbaijan for his first stop in a post-Soviet country. Just imagine what is coming next. End quote. International media claim that Leila Aliyeva owns boutiques of famous brands that decorate Neftchalar Avenue, Baku's Fifth Avenue of sorts, 
from Escada to Armani. Leila Alieva, the founder of the non-governmental alliance IDEA, which was set up to protect the environment, says in a statement circulated through the organization's website that the Center for the Restoration and Rehabilitation of Wild Nature was established in Azerbaijan for the first time. Quote, It is in our own hands that we hold an opportunity to create a future that will be harmonious with nature, which provides for our life. End quote. But does Leila comply with this in her luxurious life? Obviously, Alieva does not experience any hardship in her fashion lifestyle. She wears clothes that cost dozens of millions and are made from various animals and carries handbags made from crocodile leather that had cost more than 200,000 euros. Ms. Alieva's name is also mentioned in connection with construction work. Ten years ago, during the construction of the Four Seasons Hotel in Baku, a part of the fortress walls of the old town was destroyed, along with the demolition of buildings built in the 19th century. There lies a part of the history of ancient Baku, a secret tunnel discovered during archaeological excavations, sleeping under the 10-story luxurious hotel. At the time, the construction company ignored Baku residents' discontent and the opinions of archaeologists, architects, and historians. Officials did not react on this act of vandalism that took place in the city center either. After the hotel began operations, its owners, the first family of Azerbaijan, tried to implement a similar operation in Moscow. However, due to resistance, they were unsuccessful. Leila Aliyeva's name was mentioned among the main actors behind the demolition of a five-story building in Moscow. Activists who advocated for the preservation of Moscow's architecture claimed that Leila Aliyeva was behind the company that conducted the construction work where the building was located. The initial customer for the construction, Compania Mireta Limited, was fined for failing to carry out the work in the agreed manner. Two years later, another company of Leila Alieva, Atlantic Aeronautic Holding Limited, tried to begin construction and succeeded. Reports about Leila Alieva do not end at beauty, luxury, and fashion. They also contain serious allegations about bribery. WikiLeaks documents state that Leila and Arzu Alieva owned four offshore companies in the Virgin Islands. The daughters of the head of state played an active role in moving large amounts of money out of the country and laundering it in offshore companies. Ilham Aliyev's press secretary, Azer Gazimov, came out in defense of Leila Alieva. Quote, Like any other citizen of Azerbaijan, they can do business too. The laws allow it, and I do not see anything unusual about this. End quote. However, independent lawyers say that the law prohibits the president's family from running a business. No clarity has ever been brought to what businesses Leila Alieva owns or how transparent that money is. While the daughter of the head of state owns this much wealth and so many companies abroad, many citizens living in Azerbaijan continue to live on 100 to 150 euros a month. <laughs> 